So today we're going to be taking a look at a fantastic piece of open source Android software. So let's say that you're someone who likes software minimalism, you like stuff to just do what it's supposed to and stay out of the way. Or maybe you're someone who finds that they're a little bit addicted to their phone. Well, today's piece of software might be appealing to both groups of people. This is Unlauncher. And on F-Droid, which this is completely open source, you can get it on F-Droid, which fantastic. They describe it as freedom from your phone, a clean and simple Android experience, which that it is. I've been using it for the past few days and I really like it. It's a clean and simple Android experience. They believe that you should have access to all your apps without the distractions of bells, whistles, and notifications, which you can. It's a fantastic piece of software that really does stay out of the way and just does what it's supposed to. You can see they've got some images here and you can download the APK if you want, but if you want this piece of software, you should probably get it from F-Droid. Now, if we move over to their GitHub repository, they have a little bit more information. As you can see, the goal of Unlauncher is to provide a clean and simple Android experience. That's really what they're going for here. They've got a list of features, which top eight spaces to pin apps, which I'll get onto that more later. No app icons, customization app tiles, searchable drawer with all apps, show hide notification bar, no wallpaper, and multiple color themes, which does all of that. And the project history is that it's a fork of the Great Slim Launcher, which is another launcher. But that launch is a little bit extreme because it will only let you pick a certain number of apps to access, which um, this unlauncher basically lets you launch all the apps that you want, which... So, you know, if you're someone who's looking for minimalism more than to cure your smartphone addiction, this might be the launcher for you. But if you really do find that you're struggling and, you know, you're addicted to your phone, well, maybe Slim Launcher might be a better choice. Now, I'm going to say this is a minimal piece of software, does what it's supposed to, so there is no review here. And if you want, you can stop watching here, go out, download this piece of software and, you know, try it out, see what you think. It's fantastic. However, let's move over to the phone and take a look at Unlauncher right now on the Linux Lounge. And here we are in Unlauncher, and as you can see, it really is very, very minimal. Now, this looks like a lock screen, but it actually isn't. It's more of a sort of home screen type thing, and you can swipe up to get more apps, and you can go into the app section, which that's kind of like your app drawer on a normal Android launcher. You've also got shortcuts to the phone and camera, and as you can see, those are the only icons on screen. Everything else is text. Now, as you can see, I've got a sort of list of apps that are installed. Um, I've sort of added these, like these first eight, you can see, those are all customizable. So for, for example, if we go into the options and we go into customize apps, you can add pretty much any app that you want. You can move them around. So these are sort of your quick launch apps. And if we go ahead and tap on Bromite, well, we can see that it does in fact launch. There's no app icons or anything like that. If you swipe up, you get some more apps that you can, you know, of course, customize. And as you can see, we've got an app menu. You can search apps. Pretty much does all the stuff a standard launcher would do, but while being a lot more minimal. Now, there's no wallpapers, there's no app icons, there's no anything like that, and that is to sort of minimize on distractions, and it really does work, because you know what, sometimes smartphones really just get in your face and it gets incredibly annoying. This is not like that, and that's much appreciated. If we go into the options though, there are, like, there's a little bit of customization you can do. You can of course go into the About Slim, which is what this uh, launcher is a fork on. Device settings, which is always handy to have a shortcut to, but also you can change the theme. So for example, if we go into the default, as you can see, now everything is all white, and that's kind of an eyesore. Um, let's go back to the dark theme. Or no, you can also change it to Jupiter, which sort of a blue theme. Uh, you've got candy, which is really an eyesore, but if that's your thing, fair enough. And you have pastel, which actually looks pretty good. Um, but let's just go ahead and change it back to Jupiter, because that's quite a nice theme. Um, so if we keep going in the options, you can change the time format. Cool. You can toggle the status bar, so you can either see it or not. I prefer to have that off, because it really does look a lot more minimal. And of course, as I say, you can customize the apps. So this really is a very simple launcher. It does exactly what it says and it does it really well. So in that way, it's kind of like the Unix philosophy. And I do think that this would be appealing to the kinds of people that run minimal tiling-based window managers on their desktop. Now, would this cut down on smartphone addiction? 
Probably not, but it's still cool to have something that's quite minimal. And if you use Slim Launcher, where you can only launch a few apps, then yeah, that's really going to cut down on your smartphone addiction. But for me, I just use this because it's nice and minimal. It's visually appealing because there isn't all stuff in your face. And to be honest, I can see this probably showing up on several, you know, tech boards and stuff in the home screen threads and whatnot. But one of the biggest caveats that I'm going to say to this particular launcher is once you're actually inside of your apps, you, you know, you're right back to square one because those are all flashy and distracting even if your launcher isn't. So as cool as this launcher is, I would probably like to see some apps with like similar design so you can like really get away from the distracting nature of smartphones. But as it stands, I would highly recommend this to people, especially for people who like minimalism. It's definitely worth using. It works great. It's just generally a great piece of software. Go and try it out. It really is minimalist and great. And, you know, maybe it will help you with like smartphone addiction. But if not, it's still a good launcher. So with that said, that's it for today's video. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.